it says psalms chapter 86 verse verse 3 it says be merciful unto me o yahweh for i cry unto thee daily first of all i want to give all praises and our glory to yahweh by hashem yahushai by hashem raka kodash i want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy that rule well salutations to the men of the whole plan since say like it says my cousin from trend.com just want to do a little edification for the lexic like, and this segment will be um basically about you know crying unto the lord all right because uh, we, we know our enemies learn and you know hard times up are, are, are upon us ahead of us because we're about to enter into the time of jacob's trouble all right and as the scripture said the wicked gnashed his teeth against the just and the gnashing the teeth against us right now and taking crafty counsel against the lord's hidden ones right where they oppress us you know every day they oppress us you know with work all right they oppress us with food they, they keep increasing food prices you know and you know your, your the money that you work for it not going up all right so basically your cost of living just keep increasing you know bills and as the scripture said you know Baruch 3 and 8 we're going to be subject to payments all right so every every day is is, is is struggles all right every day is struggles and you know we had a cry unto the lord that the lord deliver us all right because when israel was in cap in all the captivities what they, when they cried unto the lord yaba shai guess what the lord delivered them the lord delivered them all right so we had a cry unto the lord all right This is the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 26. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Hey, so like sometimes, you know, you be catching, you know, so much hell, and, you know, you want to pray to the Lord, Yabba Hashem, Yahushai, but the things that you should pray for you don't even you don't even know the right words to, to say you don't even know how to put the prayer in the right perspective all right but guess what as as in the book of hebrews it says we have not an high priest that have not been touched with our infirmities all right the scripture said in all um selling all our afflictions he was afflicted all right so yeah we shy know what we're going through so when we when we need down and you know our heart sorrowful or even a teardrop fall from our eyes guess what the lord yeah we shy he knows exactly you know what we're going through and he, he knows the right way to comfort us all right he knows the white the right way to comfort us all right because where it says it says that um it says the spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings which we which can't be uttered all right so you know you be groaning inside you be you be you be tormented inside and you know you just can't put it in words but guess what yeah i know exactly what we're going through so you have a shy yeah we shy basically have our backs all right and because guess what when we when we when we cry unto the lord guess what sometimes we cry just by you know thinking thinking about you know these the situation that we in and thinking about you know escaping to to make it to the kingdom just thinking about the kingdom ab about the better times that come in thinking about being with you have a shy you know in a sudden state that that you're in and thinking about you know being with you have a shiny kingdom guess what that is crying unto the lord because your spirit your spirit longing after the lord yahaba shimmy out shy that is crying that is crying after the lord all right when your spirit longing after him all right and guess what when your spirit cry out the lord yahweh shy with the hear that all right so now look up the etymology the word cry it says yell something out it says utter transitive in 13th century beg implore speak earnestly and loud say begging the lord to save you begging the lord to take us from this situation all right david said he cried unto the lord daily so daily we had a cry unto the lord lord deliver us 
what the scripture said the scripture said when your children don't have the bridegroom then they would then they would they would fast they would mourn all right and we need house some mourning right now because yahweh was shining not with us that is why we don't have any peace all right but i want to go down a little lower where it says um it says most languages in common with english use the general word for cry out shout wail to also mean weep shed tears to express of pain or grief romance and slavic however use the words for this um whose ultimate meaning is beat the breast all right means to beat the breast so the original meaning of the word cry or weep means to beat the breast all right i want to go back to the scriptures this book of luke chapter 18 verse 13 it says and the publican standing afar off would not so much as lift up his eyes unto heaven but smote upon his breast saying yahweh be merciful unto me a sinner all right now what this man did he the this the sign of of beating your breast shows shows basically remorse shows shows how sorrowful you are all right because guess what that is, the, the most side the scripture said the most side he looked at the heart all right so when you could you know you could rent your garments you could you could put ashes on your head and for all people to see so all people could see you mourning but guess what really inside you're probably not feeling that way all right but when the when you when you're crying out from inside when you're crying out for the lord to make your situation better to help you with a situation that you're going through probably to overcome certain demons when you're crying from within the lord yabba shami asha will hear that and will and he will help you he will help your infirmities all right but we had a cry unto the lord beat the breast all right when they, when they beat the breast is like showing showing remorse showing like you know like lord help us please it's like tears it's like crying with without tears all right because you're showing that 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 sad that sad state that you're in when you beat the breast all right and it's showing in the scriptures guess what the the the, the publican he be, he know he was a sinner he like just just the words he like lord forgive me you understand as as i believe um, i think it was manessa he said he bent the knees of his heart all right so he cried from within he cried out to yabashem lord forgive me lord help me lord deliver us all right these are the things we have to be praying for for salvation all right because we, we know in we kingdom we know enemies land that way the scripture said let me let me read that real quick It's Joel chapter 2, verse 13. It says, And rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great of great kindness, and repent him of the evil. So it says, Rend your heart and not your garment. Cry from within. Alright? Don't go around trying to show people that you say, Hey, cry unto the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But cry from within. Cry sincerely. Alright? Lay request we be known unto him. All right beat the chest all right show the lord how 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 sad we are that we're not with him and you know and and beg him to hasten the time all right is the final precept here is the book of jeremiah chapter 31 verse 16 it says thus said yabba shimmy al shai refrain thy voice from weeping and thy eyes from tears so when we cry unto the lord there's the comfort in the lord given us Guess what? The Lord might just, you know, lead it to a video or lead it to a scripture that would comfort you and give you strength. It says, Refrain thy voice from weeping and thy eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. Alright? So our work is going to be rewarded and we're going to come from the land of our enemies and there is a promise. 
The scripture said he is faithful that promise. All right. So all the hell I'll be going through, you know, from the other nations, or you know, on work or women. All right. Wherever it is, or infirmities, sicknesses. Guess what? Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, Lord, gonna change all that. All right. He gonna make it better. All right. But I gotta cry unto the Lord for Him to haste any time. All of us have to do that. All right. We gotta cry unto the Lord. Show the Lord that, Lord, we, 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 you know, we acknowledge the sins of our forefathers and our sins. You know, and we turn back unto you. All right? These are the things we pray, pray unto the Lord. Show you, Lord, that, you know, we, we really want to, to, get, to get out of this place. All right? Because guess what? If, if we just see and we just live in our lives normal, guess what? Basically, we tell the Lord, you know, we're comfortable here. All right, but we had to show you, Lord, that we, we don't desire to be here. That's why the scripture said, Give him no rest. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash. I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Rooms, Millstone, that rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, Saint Select, this is Makazar, Saint Shalawam.